Hey guys, Jason. And today I want to talk about Bitcoin's hash rate. Now, if you watch my videos beforehand, you know that I talk about hash rate a lot, and you know that I always talk about how much growth the Bitcoin hash rate has had, which means how many miners have joined the network. But I want to talk about the actual hash rate. Guys, this is crazy. So my last video on the Bitcoin hash rate was on January 2nd, 2014. And on January 2nd, there was 11.5 petahashes mining. That's still a lot of mining power. But compared to, de to, to yesterday, October 20th, we were at a whopping 240 petahashes. That's a difference of 228.5 petahashes over, there, over 292 days. That equivalents out to about 800 terahashes a day being added. Now again, that's on average because you know we'll have when a miner comes out, you know you'll have a whole bunch of miners all coming online within the same week period, and then you know it will steady off and then it'll regain. But on average, about 800 terahashes a day. Now I want to talk about the economic value of this. You can go out and buy a one terahash Bitcoin miner for around fifteen hundred dollars. Well, with eight hundred terahashes being added a day, that's the equivalent of one point two million dollars of miners being put onto the market every day. Now, why is this important? This is important because everybody always talks about you know Bitcoin's price is going down, and I'm going to do a video explaining Bitcoin's price. But, but I want to talk about Bitcoin's mining capability. If people are investing on average 1.2 million dollars a day into mining chips, and that's not the, including the research to develop you know the 28 nanometer um, boards and the, then the smaller boards as of now, it's not talking about the research and the hiring of professionals. That's just literally talking about the amount of people, the amount of money being bought of Bitcoin miners, and that, that's even excluding script miners and all these other new type of algorithms for mining cryptocurrency coins. They're just taking over the market. So you know, Bitcoin's the largest coin by far, by far. So usually we talk about Bitcoin, but all these other coins are starting to get larger. But Bitcoin's adding 1.2 million dollars a day on average, and 800 terahashes a day on average to the Bitcoin ecosystem. That's a lot. Um, we talk about a lot about distribution, distribution, <laughs> distribution of you know money hash rate. Because we used to talk about you know the fact that if you got you know 50% of the market power, or you got a large percent that you could take over and double spend. And I've talked about before a while. It's not only uneconomical, but it's un really um, scientific to double spend the network unless your entire purpose is to ruin Bitcoin. And I talked about before, the only reason you would want to do that is if you were able to hack into things like the, the mining pools and how they actually divide up their mining pools into multiple servers with multiple passwords. So, you know, the fact of a double spin is almost impossible, you know, with Bitcoin. Now, with smaller coins, it is. Smaller cryptocurrency coins, it is possible. But with Bitcoin, you don't really see it happening. It's probably never going to happen. But we've seen the distribu distribution, I'll put a chart up here, actually has started to get better. We have a lot more groups. There's actually a pretty large um, a couple that are unknown. Usually the unknown, we've talked about this before, are data centers, uh, like the one in Switzerland that came out about, I think it's a year and a half ago now. Um, and they're literally just, it was a huge warehouse and they were using the Arctic cooling um, and you know, the air of Switzerland to cool down the servers. So it was an energy efficient way. Pretty awesome. I know Bitcoin gets harped on a lot because you know it uses so much energy to mine and people say, well, you know, Bitcoin's supposed to be this new revolutionary digital currency, but yet it's using da 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 amount of electricity and so it's committing this much carbon emissions. That's true, but everything in life has counterbalances, right? You do one thing, you do another. You know, the argument of, you know, if everybody had an electron on a car, then, you know, even coal power plants would be more efficient because you don't have internal combustion engines. Well, the banking industry would be better if Bitcoin was around versus the counter, you know, counter argument of there being more carbon emissions because of Bitcoin mining. It, it's a counterintuitive. I know people reference things like pure coin. They say, well, it's energy efficient, and it is, and they all have their own, um, Reasoning, I guess, for being um, pure coin also, you know, has um, one percent yield a year, um, kind of like interest bearing. Um, so they're, they're, all these coins have uh, you know different points of um, inference and points of value. But I just want to talk about Bitcoin's hash rate. It's incredible, guys. I mean, eight hundred terahashes a day, mind boggling. I mean, I remember back in the day when a four core CPU could mine a good amount of bitcoins, and so it's phenomenal for me to and, you know mind boggling at the same time. For me to think that nowadays you need an entire like hundred thousand square foot warehouse to even have ten percent of the mining hash rate, you know, if you have the smaller mining chip boards, which most people do, it's crazy, you know, it, it it just blows my mind, and I know it probably blows the mind of everyone watching this video. And for you newer people out there, you have no idea how easy it was to mine bitcoins back in the day. You know, we had CPUs and then GPU allocations, and then we had um, 
FPGA and then ASIC, and now ASICs have just, I mean, you don't you don't mind Bitcoins with CPU anymore. You don't mind them with GPUs, and you don't even mind them with FPGA. You use ASICs, and ASIC nanometer boards are just getting so advanced and so much more mining power. It's crazy. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I guess go mining hash rate, right?